Hey there, my name is Kay and I'm gonna be sharing my first time mom of newborn must-haves y'all i be so spazzed when i'm talking like sometimes i just cannot remember that's one thing with like new mommyhood i did not know that like mommy brain is real i can barely remember what i have for breakfast let alone what i'm about to say next so oh so here are my must-haves so all the things that I'm going to share in the video or like today are going to be things that I, I really, I use them on a daily basis. The first thing that I would say you need is, is swaddles or receiving blankets. So we got this receiving blanket from the hospital. It, it, it was just a regular basic blanket. And then, and we use this for swaddling. We use this for like maybe tummy time. If he doesn't want to lay on the mat, he'll lay on a blanket. Like, especially if we have to go somewhere, then we can put like the blanket over the <laughs> we can put the blanket over the the um, car seat and the receiving blanket is really good for that and then swaddles oh my gosh swaddles have been a lifesaver and this swaddle has the velcro so it's super easy to do i'm actually not really good at doing swaddles with a blanket but i am really good with swaddling him inside of this because it's designed for it and also it has these like velcro little straps on it that makes it easy for us to put them in the only thing is that he breaks out of swaddles like i mean i don't know if this is like a normal baby thing but he breaks out of his swaddles like nobody's business so that's kind of the hard part with swaddles is that i don't i don't know if babies actually like them it keeps him from waking himself up of course but other than that i'm not really sure that he actually likes the swaddle and now he's getting like a, a little bit too big for it so i'm not even swaddling him that much but i know for sure like the first maybe six weeks the swaddle was a lifesaver because he wouldn't really sleep through the well not sleep he doesn't sleep through the night yet but he wouldn't like sleep for you know two hours on end without being in the swaddle so that's been helpful for that you are so handsome and i love you yes i do you are my favorite so the next thing I would say that you need are um, burp cloths or bibs. So we have tons of burp cloths and tons of bibs. And at first I was like, man, people are giving us a lot of burp cloths and a lot of bibs. Like we don't need this. Oh my gosh, was I mistaken? Like, man, I, we have, I'm, I'm t I can't even count how many uh, burp cloths that we have, but we have so many of them. And it's just like, I still feel like we don't have enough like sometimes we still run out and so these are just really good because you know babies spit up or you know babies have blowouts we have these large size ones that in the beginning we were changing him on these because it was just something quick that we could grab and use and so that's another thing you'll start to realize because like one thing i realized really quick is like everything is multi-purpose right like a blanket is not just bless you god bless you a blanket is not just a blanket right a blanket is a changing station it's a it's a spit up catcher it's a um it's a blowout catcher like a blanket is is so many other things same thing with a burp cloth like if you have some big ones we i've been using these as as like changing like little changing tables because i didn't get a changing table because i mean it's just not essential like i don't feel like it's necessarily like oh i have to have it because honestly if your baby needs to be changed or something like that or at least with me if he needs to be changed i'm gonna change him anywhere like i just need to get you know get the diaper off or whatever so yeah burp cloths and bibs are definitely going to be helpful bibs especially too because like if you're giving them the bottle and bottle feeding and sometimes like the milk runs down their face and stuff it's just nice to have something that catches it so these next two things are a lifesaver once i started using them oh my gosh it changed the game for me and it kind of gave me a little bit of time a little freedom a little space as a mom so it's having a bouncer which um you guys probably can't see it but the bouncer's right here if he you know calms down a little bit i'll put him in the bouncer and then having a swing so i'll link which ones i have but oh my gosh we did not have the swing set up right we didn't have the swing set up before he was born i think we didn't set the swing up until like three weeks old man oh those three weeks they weren't they weren't hard but oh my gosh when, when we got that swing set up it changed the game like man i was able to go to the bathroom and brush my teeth i was able to do stuff without worrying like where was i gonna leave the baby you know and and 
like they're just like the bouncer i can take the bouncer anywhere i can take it in the shower with me i can take it into other rooms with me it's just a lifesaver it's a great thing to have just to put your baby somewhere that you know is safe because they have straps both of the ones the swing has straps and this this bouncer has straps and so i feel safe i feel comfortable if i have to go to the bathroom leaving him in there turning on the monitor and just going and doing like things that i have to do and also he likes being in them like he he likes being in the swing the swing he actually gets to sleep in the swing that we have man i can't remember the brand I'll, I'll link it i'll share a picture but um this swing right here it has uh music and and um white noise on it which has been really good because um, apparently babies like white noise and and like sound and so that's really good and then this bouncer it has music and it also vibrates so i don't have to always push it with my foot i can just turn on the little switch and then it vibrates so that's been another thing that's been super super essential we use it every day like i use the swing every single day the bouncer i might use like maybe four or five days out of the week but the swing gets daily daily use so the whole point behind having the swing and the bouncer so that i can do things so the other thing that i find essential is having a baby monitor we have like a really um like a really basic baby monitor it doesn't i mean it's not like it's you know it doesn't have noise or anything well it has sound but it doesn't like do white noise and all that kind of stuff it's just a, a simple two-way monitor where we can see him but like I mean sometimes i need to go poop or i need to take a shower or something and it's just helpful to be able to know like okay i can see him he's okay and then i can turn it on and i can hear him so i can hear him crying i can hear where are you going i can hear if he's crying i can you know and it's just I love the monitor so having the monitor is also another essential for me my next essential would be my wrap so oh my gosh I love having a little baby wrap a little baby carrier this brand is by Kia Kia babies um, and it's just a piece like a long piece of fabric but you can wrap it in so many different ways and then I'm able to carry him around the house or um, you know when I'm doing work like because I work from home when I'm working I'm able to put him in the carrier and just hold him so like sometimes like right now I probably should put him in the carrier I didn't put him in there because I don't know why I didn't do that but <laughs> you know usually I will put him in this in this carrier and I can sit at my desk and do work I can go and well I can like go and do laundry like I can do you know little tasks little things with him on me and then like take the dog for a walk or something so I really like having this wrap also I can feed him in it so um, I figured out how to kind of like position the wrap where I can turn him sideways and feed him so that's been really nice sorry I need yeah. I need you for an example thank you so my next must have is the boppy pillow. Now I will say that the boppy pillow is not something that I use every day. I know I said that a lot of the things that I use, I use them every single day. The boppy pillow is not only because I don't really know how to use it. Everybody said that I needed one, but I'm not sure how to use it. So as far as me using it to breastfeed, and, and that's what I'm gonna say, I don't know how to use it to breastfeed. I know how to use it for the baby. I just put him, I let him sit in it and it gives him some support. And also he does tummy time on this. But as far as me using it for breastfeeding, I'm really not sure how that works. So I don't use it for that. So other essentials are, um, you know, having a tub and shampoo, you know, obviously you're gonna bathe them, bathe the kids. We have a tub and it's just it's a really standard tub. Like that's the other thing about my list of things like I feel like my things are so like economical because I mean quite frankly they're babies they don't need you know the most expensive crazy gadgets right and it's nothing wrong with having those things because I'm gonna let's name a couple of things at the end that I like that are kind of like you know I guess pricey or whatever but like when we're talking about essentials really babies just need you know food clothing shelter you know so if you can meet those basic needs they don't need anything else going to the bathroom right here so since he just did that i'm about to use one of these burp cloths and lay him down and change his diaper but speaking of um diapers just like my kind of must have with diapers so i decided as you can see i decided to cloth diaper i am absolutely obsessed with cloth diapering it's been an amazing journey so far and i cloth diaper during the day and then at night i use disposables just because i got so many disposables as gifts that it didn't make any sense for me to like just not use them so i'm gonna still use them for like nighttime diapering and for like if we go out diapering but when we're at home and during the day he's in cloth diapers so when it comes to my cloth diapers i use two brands well i use three brands but my two favorite brands are the alba baby brand 
I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll try to do some B-roll, but um, I like using the Alba Baby brand, and then I love Mama Koala. These are my two, like, go-to brands. I also use cloth wipes. Y'all, I'm gonna change the diaper. Like, I don't feel like re-recording this, so I'm just gonna, like, cover them up, but we're gonna keep it moving. I also use cloth wipes. Oh, look at that. Look at that, baby king. You just did it all over. So yeah, I use cloth wipes, but then I also use Pamper Sensitive as the wipes as well. Man, this is really bright. I'm gonna have to see if I can fix this. Cloth diapering is actually a lot easier than people think it is. I'm a full-time entrepreneur. I'm a photographer, business coach, marketing strategist. Like I do quite a few different things and I'm still able to, to cloth diaper. It's just like, it can be, I guess a little extra, you know, like sometimes I'm just like, man, this is not worth it. Like this is too much work. But then other times I'm just like, well, I guess it's not that bad, you know, like, it's, it's not too bad you know it it takes a little time you know when they when they poop obviously it's like a little maybe messy um yeah it's definitely messy i'm not gonna say a little it is messy but in addition to um the diapers though is this butt paste so i think you say it's i think it's pronounced bordeaux bordeaux um butt paste but i really like using that butt paste it's, it's supposed to be natural and like what is it let's see let me read it so it's made with um natural aloe starts starts to soothe skin on contact it's plant-based free from dyes petroleum parabens preservatives so it's supposed to be really healthy yeah i guess really healthy but it's also supposed to be really good to use if you if you have like cloth diapers if you cloth diaper so that's another reason why i chose this brand in particular i really enjoy cloth diapering so far i might do like another separate video on cloth diapering just to kind of talk about like my experience with it and like how it's been going for me and stuff like that and maybe give some tips but those two brands mama koala and then these alba babies are my favorite because the inserts that they use are just like really really good quality like it absorbs everything very well he's not ever like wet he's not ever like soaking wet which you can have that problem when you cloth diaper do you like the cloth diapers do you like them and also they're cute oh my gosh look at this like i have so many different like cute little prints and colors and stuff like i'm about to put them in this yellow one right now so yeah i love i love i love i love cloth diapering god bless you God bless you. So in addition to like the diapers that I use, I also have a diaper pail, which I was gifted this diaper pail. I actually don't know where it came from or like what brand it is. I'll try to link a similar diaper pail, but I use that to, to store his diapers um, for, you know, after he soiled them, I'll, I'll store his diapers there. And then also I have like a, a little diaper, um, it's not a diaper caddy because it actually came from Walmart. Like it was one of those little Walmart containers. I'll insert a picture of it, but it's just like one of those Walmart containers that you can put anything in we just chose to put diapers in it and so we have we put our diapers in there we put our cloth wipes in there and then we put our cloth liners in there and then we also put like any extra wipes we have or diapers that we have like disposable diapers we'll put all that in there so we call it like our little diaper station because literally everything that we need to change them is in that so my next essential are onesies honestly uh, you can never have too many onesies because they throw up on you like this just like you can never have too many burp cloths this is like so real life guys like all day long he just kind of spits up on me or he poops <laughs> and it's so much fun so he's not wearing a onesie right now but um usually i have him in onesies all day you know different you know i have different color onesies but onesies are definitely going to be something that you need a lot of they're just always doing something they're always maybe spitting up or having some kind of blowout or something and a onesie is going to be like clutch for all that so my next must-have is a nose aspirator a lot of people use the nose frida but i'm not gonna lie this this basic one that you get from like this is literally what we got from the hospital this is more than enough we don't need like to you know purchase anything well, we didn't need to let me say that we didn't need to purchase anything extra you know we just like this little aspirator has been a, a godsend honestly whenever he's a little congested or like whenever like if he spits up and it, it kind of gets stuck in his mouth we'll use it to suck it out but like this one it's a really good one and we honestly we got it from the hospital but that's like another must have. I think we pretty much use that every day too. So for some reason I can't find them, but my next must have would be nail clippers and nail files. Um, baby's nails are so freaking sharp. Like I did not realize they were so sharp, but he cuts me a lot with his nails. I try to cut his nails like every other day or every couple of days, but he still manages to cut me. So nail clippers, nail file, that's another thing that you're gonna need. So a little bit of booby stuff, having a breast pump is gonna be really helpful after six weeks. 
so well actually not after six weeks i started pumping around i want to say five weeks maybe like, i know a lot of people uh, suggest like not breast pumping before six weeks but for me i found that i needed to pump and i wanted to pump earlier just because like i wanted to give tay a chance to breastfeed as well breastfeed lord i wanted to give tay a chance to feed the baby as well and um honestly like i needed a, my breast needed a break so um having that breast pump was really helpful and i have bottles i have bottles by i think it's lit Lanaso, Lanaso, the same brand as my breast pump, which is also a Lanaso. Gosh, I cannot say what the name of it. I don't know how to pronounce it, but that brand, I'll, I'll, I'll insert it so you guys can see. That brand of breast pump, and actually, I have the nipple cream. So this nipple cream is that brand. The nipple cream, this one's really good. My breast pump is a double breast pump, and then having the bottles, they're all the same brand. So it's really helpful. Um, but like those are essentials because I pump every day. I I use the bottles every day. Um, Tay feeds them at least one feeding a day, and then the nipple cream is always a lifesaver. I use this every single day, and I use two different types of um, nipple creams, and this is like an essential too. Nipple cream is definitely an essential for me. So I use this Earth Mama. I've talked about this. Um, I've talked about both of these nipple creams in my breastfeeding tips video, so I'll link that below so you guys can see, but these are like my two go-to nipple creams. And then the other breast thing that I want to mention is a nursing bra. I currently have one on now that basically has these little tabs that you can snap, and so you snap it off, it pulls your, your breasts out and then you can snap it back on and it stays together. So something else people don't mention that's an essential is laundry detergent. I don't know why it never crossed my mind that I would need laundry detergent and like maybe baby laundry detergent or, or just something that's like a little more gentle on the skin. So we've actually changed laundry detergents. We're currently using a baby draft and then we're using all and both of those detergents seem to be really good. So um, I do kind of, that's like one recommendation I want to make is like really be mindful and think about a detergent because I totally did not think about detergent when I was purchasing things and then at the last minute I was like oh maybe I should think about that so yeah detergent is another essential because honestly I think I wash clothes every single day and 90% of the clothes are his those were all my essentials now I wanted to kind of mention a couple of things that I wish I had right I really wish I, I had a, a noise maker a noise machine right I currently for white noise for him I use either his swing his swing has white noise but like when we're in bed there's nothing I can do so I'll just play white noise on YouTube um, he loves the heartbeat like you can YouTube heartbeat and and that one will come up oh man that one will come up and he loves the sound of that one he can go to sleep to that but I wish I would have got a, a white noise machine I mean I still can but you know like I wish I would have gotten one maybe earlier when he actually needed it to sleep now he doesn't really need the noise to sleep as much another thing I wish I had was a pumping bra because I, I do pump every day and it would just be helpful to kind of be hands-free when i'm pumping but one thing that somebody told me that i saw was that you can cut slits into a sports bra and use that as a pumping bra so i'm gonna try that and see how it works i might like leave it as a comment if it works for me to let you guys know like how i feel about what you doing but um i'll leave it in the comments what i feel about using like you know trying out the sports bra idea i actually don't have a sports bra so i probably would do better off just buying a, a nursing bra but um i thought it was a really cool idea to try as far as using the sports bra cut some slits into it and then um you can fit your the flanges of your breast pump into it pretty cool idea the last thing that i wish i had was some sort of cream for cradle cap i have yet to find a, a, a cream that i think really works for cradle cap besides using vaseline and washing it out of his hair so currently i just use some vaseline i you know comb it in or i rub it in and then i comb his hair to try to get and lift up the cradle cap and then i wash his hair after that so i usually do that right before he takes his bath but I just, I don't know if there's, if, if anybody knows of a cream for cradle cap, definitely let me know because that would be like an essential for me because he's had cradle cap probably since he was like two weeks. And then I have a couple of honorary mentions when it comes to essentials because honestly, these aren't essential things, but they're things that I like. And so I wanted to kind of mention them. So the outlet is my honor, was one of my honorary mentions. The outlet is a little soft that you can put on your baby and it monitors their heart rate and their oxygen levels. And it sends you a notification if though any of those numbers are off like maybe it's too high or it's too low this outlet the reason why i put it as honorary mention it was gifted to me and honestly it's giving me so much peace of mind like i'm i just i'm so anxious as a new mom right like i just i always feel like man something's wrong or i'm always like looking at him like okay is he okay is he breathing like i mean it's the truth like and i i know that all of us experience that where we're just like man like is he is, is our baby okay and the outlet 
I have to say it does give me like some peace of mind like when I'm taking a shower and I'm not physically looking at him like when I'm not physically looking at him the sock is really good to help me not be anxious like I can go and do something because I know that the sock is kind of monitoring him now of course it's not foolproof like I know that but even 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 knowing that it's not foolproof I still feel like man like it's really helping me so i will say that like that's a good honorary mention to if, if you have it if, or if you want to get it like i definitely recommend that because it's been something that's given me a little bit of peace the other two things that are honorary mentions are i don't even know what this thing is called i'm gonna have to figure it out and then link it below but it's the dome so we call it the dome but it's like a little dome that we can sit him in he usually does like tummy time in there he doesn't now because he's actually too big for it so that's that's the other thing he grew out of this really fast he can still use it but it's just i, I, I don't know i feel like he's cramped but that's just me like i'll be kind of claustrophobic in it but yeah the dome is really nice because it's something that we can sit him in again and he can be safe in there so i like the dome and then also having like a little tummy time gym that's another kind of thing that i wanted to say was an honorary mention because i know that people you know like to do tummy time and stuff like that we i don't think he likes tummy time that much so and i mean i don't think any baby does i don't know but i know that he's not a fan of tummy time so we don't get as much use of out of that usually we get more use out of honestly laying this blanket on the ground and laying with him and just like playing and reading and like you know playing around and doing stuff with him so having the gym like I, I wanted to kind of mention that because it has been helpful but honestly he's just like really content and really happy just looking at us and laughing at us and laying on the blanket those were my essentials I'm actually going to leave like a little um I want you guys to like the screenshot this next slide or whatever you can use this if you want to like check off your list and see like if you are missing anything from your from your list but these are just my essentials these are things that i use like on a daily basis that i just really really love and i wanted to share them because i feel like so many times when i watch um different essentials videos they're kind of things that i'm just like man do i really really need that so um i kind of want to give like maybe a, a more practical approach to like what kind of essentials you need and like if you can only get the basics i feel like these are really good like basic things that you can have for your little one so i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it, please give me a like, a subscribe, and until next time, I'll talk to y'all later.